Are you perchance Radsom? Yeah, that's me. How do you know my name? Teelan mentioned you. You are his fellow researcher. Oh, I see. Teelan sent you. Him and Tyrea are still getting on okay? Quite. Though she did give him a good scolding earlier. <laughs> Went to Alchemoth again, did he? I did warn him not to be reckless. But when it comes to his research, that boy has tunnel vision. To be honest, so does Tyrea. Does she come here much as well? No, hardly ever. She's even more focused on the work than Teelan. I couldn't begin to guess why she's so driven. It must be about her mother after all. Ratsum, we have questions. About the Fog King. I see. That's why you're so curious. We need more to go on. What can you tell us? Because of the Telethia's ether field, the Fog King and his Fog Beasts seem, well, unable to escape Alchemoth. Ether field? Yeah. It's the means by which Telethia eliminate any excess ether that they absorb. Now, the Fog King and his beasts happen to give off an awful lot of ether. I see. So all Telethia in the vicinity flock there, to feed on the ether, and, as a result, keep the threat contained. All oh, this hot noggin of Kino. It get worse if not shut up. But my ether, it worked against Fog Beasts, but not the Fog King. Or rather, it didn't even seem to make direct contact with him. Shulk? Melia? Would you do me a favor and head to Teelan's lab, borrow his Telethia research notes for me? Sure, we can do that for you. There's something I'd like to look up about the Telethia's ether field. Understood. On another note, we heard that you spoke out against the Companions. I voiced an opinion, yes. I can understand their impatience. Their ancestral home was right there. However, I couldn't abide watching them throw away more lives for nothing. Nothing? Sounds quite stark. At first, there were hundreds of us living here. But now? Well, you've seen for yourselves. And all because of the Fog King. Yeah. So I think you can see why I said what I said. If we end up extinct, we'll have won nothing. Well spoken. But I'm sure the companions would find those words hard to swallow. I'm sorry. Your people are no more free to go home than we are. No need for you to apologize, Melia. In truth, it's not costing me any sleep. They seem to be catching on too. After all, they've stayed put since then. When you put it like that, The people of Grandel, they're living under considerable strain, not knowing what became of their homes, and with no means of return. Hmm. But that's also true of Maxis. His people lost their homes too. Yes. But they're feeling desperate, and it's making them unreasonable. It too sad. We were like that too once, weren't we? Yes, we were. That true? Hmm. But we learned, eventually. All because we wanted to protect the world. And we made that dream a reality. We brought down Zanza. Overcoming our prejudice gave us strength in unity. Because we shared a goal. Radzum's folk, the companions, and us as well. We all share the same goal. Defeating the Fog King and returning home. Hmm. 
sounds like chalk for here upon Kino. Just let Nene at him. Thank you, everyone. Mama, man, what that thing? Is that? It's like the one we saw in Alchemoth, but much, much larger. You're right. Shulk, let's see if we can get closer. Yeah. What is it? Thank you. 
Hello. What is happening over there?
beasts. Here they come! No time for deliberations. Let's go, Shulk. Got it! Beasts were meant to be confined within Alchemoth. I don't think that's where those ones came from. What do you mean? The rift made normal monsters transform into fog beasts. Instinct was right, Melia. Yes, although the Rift's influence is spreading far too quickly. Ratson, are you fine? Miss Melia, these armors, it was so sudden. You can explain later. Let us do the fighting here. You should seek refuge. Right, you are. Thank you for that. Was everyone all right? Yeah. No major injuries to speak of. All thanks to you, of course. Kino accepts a year's supply of sweet wasabi as reward. Real hereupon never has compensation. Or it say that? Shulk, was it the Rift's expanding influence that's responsible for our Armu's transformation? Looks like it. We saw it happen before, too. Regular monsters turned into fog beasts, just like that. That suggests more fog beasts will appear if the rift continues to spread its vileness. Consider, with the size it was before, the rift's effect was limited to the area within the capital. But now it's getting wider. One moment. In that case, if the rift keeps growing larger... All monsters everywhere could be changed by the fog. We must find a way to fight back. We'll need those research notes for that. Let's head for the lab. Right. Mm. 
Villain! What do you want? You stand in the way of a new age dawning. Sis, I'm scared. It's all right. I'll protect you, and I'll work, I swear. Behold, the widening rift in the sky. It's proof definite the world abhors you. Spare me your ravings. Oh, Lady Melia, the hope of our race. Gelgar, what is this treachery? As you can see, I am sweeping away some pebbles. Their research is blasphemy against the commingled blood. Don't you comprehend the import of what you're interrupting? The very future of our race hinges on their work. You think this is the future? This reactionary struggle to revive what is long buried? The future of the Hyentia is us. We are what the race ought to become. We are the true face of the Hyentia. If not for our ancestors, we would never even have drawn breath. Ancestors? I recognize them not. You, Lady Melia, are our progenitor. You were our beginning, and you will be our future. Senseless drivel. If you would interfere with this research for the sake of spouting your nonsense, you do not deserve my mercy. Melia. Why won't you understand? Why won't you accept that we are the ones destined to lead? You will not so easily refute our history. So be it. I reject you. I will take the mantle and become father of our kin. I will take dominion over all. And the world will be in the I know I am not wrong. I'm not. I will spare you. Just be gone from my sight. No! The lab! Melia! Miss Melia! No! Idiot! <laughs> the crown is mine now. Talon! Fix his hell! Better safe than sorry. The pure blood meets its end today! Are you okay, Talon? Telethia, here! Damn! She's okay. She's all right. I'm sorry. I couldn't save. <gasps> the future.
house. The lab went up in flames, so we carried you here. The lab? <gasps> I'm sorry, Teelan. I failed you. Miss Malia. You damn fool! What possessed you to do that? What happened to safeguarding the future of the Hyentia? And bringing our brethren back home were those just words to you? You should think long and hard about what the death of a leader would mean for us! Come on, big sis. That's enough! Don't defend her. This idiot child! I had to. What? To protect it at all cost. The research. How can you be so fixated on that? Our salvation lies therein. I believe it now. Melia! And yet... Ultimately, it was for naught. I caused trouble for everyone. And I couldn't even save the documents. Poor Miss Melly. That's not true. If you and your friends hadn't come when you did, there might not have been anything left of the research to continue with. And also... Here. What's this? It's the book you carried out of the fire. Ring any bells? <gasps> this tome. We found it in the tomb. Yeah. The book that started my research. If we have this, me and Tyrea can carry on with our work. Sis, are you with me? Uh, yes, yeah, right. We can study the problem until we make some headway. Miss Melia, thank you. Likewise. Teelan, Tyrea. You've only just woken up. Come on. We'll let you rest. Yes. Thank you. What that for? Can I use Trinkle Snooze for sea sweet dreams that seem extremely excessive? <laughs> <laughs> This might just be what we need to defeat the Fog King. Yeah. Feeling better? Yes. Much better now. What a relief! Miss Melly, good as new. Kino saved day again. Less braggy, please. Friends, I'm sorry I worried you. And I abused your hospitality. Please forgive me. No. You saved this place and we owe you, big time. This was the least I could do. I will not stop now. I swear to do what I can for the good of Grandel. I appreciate it. Just... don't go running yourself ragged for us. I promise. We seem to be missing Tyrea. Oh, if you're looking for her... She figured the fog beasts might strike again, so she went out on patrol. The likes of us aren't exactly trained for battle, so really, any help is welcome. You're right. I feel sorry for any beasts that wander into Tyrea's path. <laughs> By the way, did I hear you mention something about defeating the Fog King? All thanks to our friend's research. Is that so? Quite. A sterling achievement, Teelan. Just an accident. Still, even so, your devotion to your mother may well have saved our future. <laughs> All right. What do we have to do? How do we defeat the Fog King? We found ether attacks effective against fog beasts. 
but not against the Fog King. That's because the Aether's concentration was too low. Concentration? Concentration? Pipe down when adults talking, Dum Dum. But Kino is so bored. The whole thing got me wondering. Why did fog beasts appear when the rift got wider? I think the intensity of the rift's rays exceeded the density of the Teletheus ether field. Um, none of that makes any sense to me. How is the density connected to the Fog King? If we could put up an ether field denser than the Teletheus, the Fog King will become vulnerable. How does one put up an ether field? Secondly, where does one obtain such highly concentrated ether? For the field, I think this guy will do the job with a little tinkering. In that case, it's just a matter of gathering up enough high purity ether crystals, except. Except what? Those kinds of ether crystals are extremely rare. I'm not sure where I'd even start looking. There might be. None at all around here. Oh, cheer up, all of you. It is not a foregone conclusion. And in any scenario, if we cannot defeat the Fog King without them, we will have to keep looking until we find them. Hmm, true enough. Good. Then let us start by asking around.
So now all we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. Hmm. Gradsum, sir! Fog beasts have broken through the gates! They're through! <sighs> if only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha! We're here to help. This rabble won't stand a chance, not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. You go no further. Yeah. Fleet life is no use. Kino make you full of holes. And Nene teach you better manners. We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! Situation is tough. I agree. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions back to lend you aid. They won't agree. You know they despise us. They must see the danger. They will understand what needs to be done. Yea, as soldiers of the High End here, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Please, trust me, Radson. I'll be right here, trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go, before I change my mind. Thank you. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Impossible! More already! <laughs> If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. We must hurry. Come, follow me. You head straight for the Cape. What are you saying? This will take all of us. I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. But that's... You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. 
This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea, Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. <sighs> Come on, we make for the Companion's cape. <laughs> 